Today we have some really good news. The Florida Aquarium is making history. It's the first to induce spawning of Atlantic corals in a lab. This is very exciting. It's groundbreaking scientific advancements, which offers new hope for the restoration of the Florida reef tract and coral reefs around the world. Roger German is here to tell us more. Congratulations, yes. first of all, on being able to do this. This is pretty incredible. Thank you. I still have goosebumps right now <laughs> of this incredible world global breakthrough that is going to provide hope. Not an easy thing to make coral spawn. How it, did you do it? You know, it is not. You know, kind of replicate Mother Nature is very, very difficult. But for the last two years, we've focused on a project called Project Coral. Mm -hmm. um, and it's right here at our Apollo Beach Conservation Campus, right here in the Tampa Bay region where you can make history. Um, so it is taking things like LED lighting it is taking general filtration systems which all sound very like you can go to a hobbyist and get this sure but when you really have to mirror the temperature the tweaks in lighting mm. that mother nature so what we had to do was really replicate you know kind of the, the the wild environment and it took a lot to figure out so let's talk about what we're dealing with here we're talking about the Florida reef tract which runs from where Fort Lauderdale Correct. all the way down to the dry, dry tortugas dry Absolutely. tortugas okay so how much of how much are we losing that per year and what will this new growth if you will of coral mean to this tract yeah so the devastation that's happening and I didn't realize this it's the third largest coral reef tract in the world mm -hmm. so it's kind of North America's Great Barrier Reef right sure. in our backyard uh, but the devastation that has been happening really for the last 50 years you know I mean you know our climates have changed you know uh, kind of the, the human interactions have changed but in the last four or five years we've seen it exponentially uh, have problems with the coral reef track. One of the biggest things that is affecting right now in 2014, uh, there was a disease outbreak that happened in Miami, kind of worked north and then has worked its way south through the track. That has, has destroyed literally all the pillar coral that is down there. Last Friday, when our team was down uh, in the in the Keys, mm -hmm. we basically considered it virtually extinct in the wild. There are only mm -hmm. a few pillar coral colonies left. They are too far apart to you know to spawn. Right. Coral only spawns once a year. So that's why this breakthrough is really, really important because we are able to have coral spawn at a massive level. <laughs> and what we're also going to try to start working on is getting them off cycle so we can produce more, maybe three, four times a year to get up to scale. When that disease passes, we will go back in and start replanting Ex and hopefully stave extinction. 